so today we will discuss uh, basic information regarding retaining walls and that means what is basically retaining wall what are the various type of uh, forces why we have to design it and on for what we have to design it basically so retaining wall so even earlier in other subject we discussed retaining wall so if you see the right side picture so you will be saying there is a wall which is retaining some backfill maybe some different type of material it may be aggregate it may be sand or any type of mountainous land etc so basically uh, is a, basically this is a retaining wall so now retaining wall itself mean now when we have to define the retaining wall that means what is the definition so retaining wall are used to basically they are walls which are used to retain earth or any other material in vertical or nearly vertical position at location where there are changes in the ground level so that means where ground level is changing so there may be backfill and uh, we have to support this that backfill retaining wall you may find uh, in mountainous region near uh, the roads that mean road network <coughs> or uh, near about a river area everywhere you will find the retaining wall so what are the various important points which we will discuss retaining wall prevent the retained earth from sliding now this is the where my must uh, a mouse cursor is moving so this is the mass fill back fill and this is the retaining wall so it is clearly visible retaining wall prevent the retained earth from sliding if the retaining wall is not getting filled then this material will be successfully retained now earth retained by retaining wall now what will happen to the retaining wall when it uh, retain the material behind it so that material or that earth or retained material will exert lateral pressure on the wall so this material will be applying pressure on the wall and uh, try to destabilize the wall which may cause bending now what can happen due to the pressure due to the forces of the by the applied by the retained mass and if your uh, retaining wall is not of a particular or required strength then it may bend it may overturn or it may slide from its position so it, it can slide from its position and move away from the back pin so that will be the failure of the retaining wall so then uh, its purpose of retaining the material retaining the earth will not be achievable so next point is retaining wall are mostly used for roads and we are uh, daily we uh, see when we travel across the road in the mountainous region that mean they are uh, there are walls which are retaining the hilly area behind it that means hills retaining wall uh, if you talk about the swimming pool then that water in the swimming pool is retained by the surrounding also then that wall will also act as a retaining wall at the end of the bridge in the form of abutment this is uh, clearly visible various bridges that there are uh, retaining walls which uh, that means that abutment is basically retaining the material constructing a building on a site where filling is required and underground water tank so uh, when we are talking about the retaining wall retaining wall is a general term that does not mean it only retain the soil it only retain the sandy material or hilly area it can retain any material it may be water also it may be sand etc now if you see in this picture very much visible that means you will find this is the retaining wall which is uh, retaining the material retaining the soil behind it and due to the excessive pressure of this material what you will find that this wall has moved away from the its 
actual position and the failure takes place. Now this is known as sliding. This was the actual position of the wall. And the when and this is the earth fill that means a lateral pressure is acting on the wall and wall getting moved away from its position and the failure takes place. So this type of failure retaining wall is known as sliding failure. That means sliding means wall has a wall just to slide away from its original position. So type of failure of retaining wall, this is the one type of failure. Sliding failure of retaining wall. So that means retaining wall, R wall means retaining wall. So it slides away. Retaining wall slides away from retained earth and failed due to excessive earth pressure. So that means it is very much clear when we have to design, we have to construct the retaining wall, we have to keep in mind how much is the pressure of the uh, retained material is acting on the wall so that we can uh, design the wall against the sliding effect so that it can bear the stresses, the pressure acting on the wall. So retained wall is to be designed for stability against sliding. So this is the one of the parameters when we design the wall. So that means we have to design the wall in such a way that uh, it uh, remains stable against slide that means it should not slide away from the material otherwise it will get failed so these are the parameter we will consider during the design that how we make it stable now pressure due to retained earth should be carefully calculated if there is a wrong calculation if uh, you have not taken the material type of material height of material and uh, you can say water table, whether material is saturated, whether material is dry. If the material is currently dry, is, is it uh, possible that in future there may be water, flow of water and etc. So all these things we have to take into consideration. So pressure due to retained dust should be calculated carefully. Retaining wall should have sufficient interlocking with the soil. Definitely if uh, there is uh, no uh, bonding between the foundation of the retaining wall or the soil below the retaining wall and between the between the retaining wall that means this uh, surface of the retaining wall as well the uh, soil or whatever we below the uh, retaining wall if there is not interlocking or there is no friction like that so then it will definitely move move away from the retained material it will move away and sliding failure take place which you can easily see in the picture that is a, uh, some roadway picture, roadside picture is we have taken. Now if you see in this second diagram, now this is a wall, maybe uh, it is uh, from concrete blocks prepared from concrete blocks. So you will uh, just find that this uh, retaining wall is supporting the material back pillar etc. Now, this retaining wall, after some time, this retaining wall is not vertical. So now it is not vertical. So that means what happened? Basically, this retaining wall has turned. Now, if you see, now this picture, if this is a retaining wall, so retaining wall backfill is behind this. This side is backfill. Yeah, if uh, you need, I can point out. Okay. So this is the backfill basically and this is retaining wall. This is toe, toe area just like a human being, uh, just like a, a leg and foot of a human being. If this is a leg and this is foot, so one end will be the toe and other end will be the heel. So what you will observe that this uh, uh, upfill is applying pressure and due to that pressure, due to uh, center of gravity etc. So what is happening, this uh, retaining wall uh, is getting some movement from the earth field. So when the movement is acting on, if uh, this retaining wall is not suitably placed, then it can turn. It can turn around. So you will see that this uh, retaining wall is getting turned. So it is a self-explanatory picture. That means type of the uh, failure of the retaining wall, overturning failure of retaining. So this we will call it as overturning of 
retaining wall, overturning failure wall, it will overturn. Now, overturning failure of retaining wall is the rotation of the wall. Now, it is clearly, you can clearly understand it is the rotation of the wall about its toe. Now, this is toe. About toe, it is rotating, not about heel. It is about toe. This, this will be heel, this will be toe, and this will be stem. Later on, we will discuss in detail. Due to the exceeding movement. Now, what is happening? If you see here, clearly, this is the backfill, total backfill. So, backfill is applying pressure in this direction. And uh, here is some material on the toe side. So, it will be applying some pressure or some gravity force here. And uh, weight of the these portion is acting here. So, if you take uh, toe point as a, a point about which movement can take place. So, if you calculate movement about toe, then these forces will be applying clockwise movement. And uh, some of these forces will be like applying, applying anti-clockwise movement. And this pressure due to the material or soil above the toe level. So, it will apply anti-clockwise movement or clockwise movement. So, that means we have to take into consideration. So what we are saying here, that means if uh, or the toe, the exceeding moment caused by overturning forces. Now some of the forces are creating movement on the or applying movement on the retaining wall, which can overturn it in comparison to the resisting forces. So these forces are the resisting forces, and these forces are the overturning forces. Now it is very much clear if the overturning movement is greater than resisting moment your wall will not be stable it will slide uh, it will uh, rotate so this type of uh, actual site it will rotate so that means we have to take care into consideration while designing that means how much movement is rotating it and how much movement is resisting it to so definitely resisting movement and the rotating one they may be equal or resisting movement comparatively higher now, so retaining wall is to be designed for stability against rotation. In the last slide, we have discussed stability against sliding. Now, another point is stability against rotation. So, overturning forces, yes, over I already explained overturning forces due to the up backfill or retain the material. Resisting forces due to the self weight of the retaining wall, load on the toe, etc whatever be the material here it will be applying uh, gravitational force that means it will be pressing the uh, toe area and also some earth pressure in uh, towards the retained material so we have uh, that means summation of mr summation means some of the movements some of the movements of that means some of the resisting movements about to already told you that we will take into consideration point two so some of the resisting movement about toe M0 is some of the overturning movement about toe. So, overturning of a retaining wall will happen if some of the movement are resisting is less than some of the movement overturning. So, it will be during design, we will check it, we will apply the corrections, etc., whatever we require. So, our design should be such that the retaining wall is stable against sliding as well as rotation okay so let us continue so that means uh, when you are designing the thing you have to take care of the sliding effect as well as over time. so next is type of uh, retaining wall so today we will discuss one type of retaining wall and later on we will discuss different type of retaining wall and then we will discuss the designing part of the retaining wall now very simplest type of retaining wall is the gravity retaining wall so from uh, title that means from name of the retaining wall is clearly mentioned it is clearly you can understand that major effect is of the gravity that means weight of the retaining wall 
Now, if you see here, here this wall is a retaining wall, and the back fill is there, and this side is toe side, this side is heel side. Now, even back fill is uh, surcharged back fill with some angle 30 degree. So, addition which we have discussed in soil, and from this side, from this side, if uh, I show is by an arrow. So this is toe side, it will be resisting and this side, it will be applying pressure and uh, this one uh, hole is to drain out the water, if there is water, so that it should not apply pressure. So this is stem and uh, this is uh, this is toe and uh, this one is heel. So this is the part of the rotating board. And the schematic diagram will be like this. This is the retained material. So that uh, retained the material, this material is shown like this. This is the retaining wall. It may be vertical or it may be inclined. So in this case, for in upper photograph, it is vertical. And in this uh, second photograph, it is just a slant. So this is toe heel. And uh, this is material above the toe. That means it is applying pressure to register its movement. And uh, this back will applying pressure which due to the retained material. So retaining, what is gravity retaining? Well, it is retained backfill due to its own weight. Now, this is very important picture. This is a, uh, you can say, concrete retaining wall. And uh, you may observe here, we have taken slant side, yeah, slant side in this side. Here it may be, it is in your choice. Now, if you see, uh, one by one we can discuss. Now, this is active thrust. This is the backfill. This is the backfill total. So it is applying active thrust. You well know that active work pressure, passive work pressure. So this is the wall. So we consider this is the weight of the wall acting downward. So one force is acting, uh, sorry, in this direction. Another force weight is acting in this direction. This one is your heel. This is toe. And this is the soil which is applying bearing pressure. And uh, even sliding resistance, that means it, if it is offering a resistance, if this soil is having a good bond with the base of the uh, base of the retaining wall, then there may be some resistance. It is offering sliding resistance, passive pressure. So you will observe one by one, there are various type of uh, forces, uh, not this, this force, this force, that means this is the pressure, and uh, this is third force, sliding force, this is bearing force. Okay, so this will be active pressure. This is open to sky. This is free. So when you want to take movement of all the forces about the toe point, so then this pressure, this weight, this uh, sliding resistance, bearing forces, passive resistance, etc., etc. So from this you can easily calculate. That means whether uh, this wall is stable against sliding as well as against rotation. Mathematically.